Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Glad you're stopping in. Uh, my thrifting this past week brought me nothing but dinnerware. Um, I don't know why, but I found a lot of it. And I have everything from Spode to Corel. I have some souvenir plates, some Disney things, a lot of different things. So it's going to kind of be a different kind of a video as it's all dinnerware. Hope you enjoy. I was wandering around Goodwill the other day uh, looking for some goodies and I uh, ran into this woman. She was holding a box of glasses. These are the glasses right here. They have a nice tint to them. And uh, she said, you know, I'm really not uh, looking for glasses, but maybe you are. And these are half price. Really, really pretty. And I'll show you one more. Get good color on them. Teddy bears. I would say they were definitely Christmas glasses. Anyway, I was talking to the woman. I said, well, let me see the box. And um, she showed me this box right here where the glasses came in. And I looked around. You can see right here it says, share the joy. And I knew share the joy was, let's see if you can see it, a product made specifically for the Caldor Company out of Norwalk, Connecticut. And what I found very interesting about that, and I'll hold up um, some of these glasses while I tell you about that, is that Caldor in Norwalk, that's the headquarters offices right there, was my very first full-time job. So I thought that kind of meant something and um, maybe I should pick them up. I did pick them up and I will have them for sale. I think I'm gonna be asking about $15 for the box and the lot of four, and they were made in Japan, exclusively for calendar. Good find at the Salvation Army. This is Comcore by Corningware in the lattice pattern, dates to 1981. This is a um, nine and a quarter inch oval platter. I have two of them. I also purchased two seven inch plates. You can see they're in perfect condition, unused condition. And what else did we get here? Two berry bowls, again, perfect condition, pretty, pretty design. And I am Comcore tableware. Okay, let's see if I can find a piece. I know I just showed it to you, but you can see right there it says Comcore tableware by Corning. Um, was Corning's answer to Corel for the food service industry, basically. Just like Corel, but a bit stronger and more durable. And these platters alone, these nine and a quarter inch platters alone, sell for about $15 a piece. I think I'm gonna sell all four, or all six of these as a set, for about $30. Found this at the Goodwill. I do really well with these collector plates um, that have a picture and a place on them. There always seems to be somebody from that area who went to that church or just lives in that area that are interested in these plates. So again, they sell really well for me. This one is in excellent condition. It is decorated by the Deland Studios that were out of Long Island, Secaucket, Long Island to be exact, in New York dates to the 1950s. It is hand colored. Um, I believe the plate, just by looking at the rim right here, you can see, was produced or manufactured by the Harker Company. That's a Harker rim if I've ever seen one before. And I did confirm that a few of these plates were made by Harker, ones with these rims. They also decorated um, plates for other companies that had smooth rims. Anyways, I'm going to be asking, I think about $25 for this one, great shape, 1950s. This is a wonderful Goodwill find. You can see I have an eight inch plate and a 15 ounce mug. It's Disney, designed by Paul Cardew. This is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs right here in display condition. 
with the matching mug right here. It came in lots of different Paul Cardew designed um, Disney characters. I think they sold these mugs in a set of four with coasters and the plates they sold separately. Paul Cardew uh, was a very famous and still is um, designer out of England, most notably known for his teapots, which he's very, very famous for. He started the Cardew Design Company in 1991 to produce and market his collectible teapots, which he started designing and selling in the 1970s. Um, I think I'm going to be asking $16 for this set. Great condition. Who doesn't like a good fairy tale? Fun fact about Paul Cardew, back in the 1970s, he made and sold um, piggy banks to the National Westminster Bank as giveaways if you opened up a savings account. Very, very collectible and hard to find today. Found this 1984 Avon mug at the Goodwill in their Christmas boutique. And you can see it has a really cute silhouette here of Santa Claus and the elves. And um, the thing about this mug is I had purchased one, there's the rest of the elves, they're making their toys. I had purchased the same mug last year and sold it immediately. So when I saw this one, I got excited and picked it up, uh, took it home. I knew that they came in a different pattern. They, uh, they also made a green with the, I think it's a Mrs. Claus design, Claus design on it instead of this Mr. Santa Claus right here. But I didn't realize the, um, the rings you see on the bottom here, the green ones are super faded. Truthfully, I didn't even notice them. And when I started looking up the mugs again, I said, oh wow, they made them with a nice vibrant green rim or, or rings on the bottom. And uh, I looked again at this one. This one had them only faded. So I think I'm just gonna use this as my Christmas mug this year. Another really good Goodwill find. This was half price. It's a porcelain baking dish, I believe. And the back stamp says BNC Limoges France El Bernardo. And the uh, pattern, which I really don't understand the name. I wouldn't have given it that name. But the name is Cashmere. And it's hand painted, I believe. It sure feels hand painted. I would say it dates back to the mid 70s or the early 70s, late 60s. It's got that back stamp anyways, and it's kind of got that look about it. The cashmere pattern, I don't see a whole lot of pieces out there, and I don't see any of the baking dish one. I guess it could also be a plate or a very shallow bowl, but my guess is it's a baking dish because I did see, <clears throat> excuse me, a ramekin that matched it and other baking pieces. The company was founded in 1863 by Remy Delanere, my French, of course, like my other languages, except English is not that good, in um, 1863. And in 1895, Leonard Bernardo became a full partner. And in 1900, um, he became the owner and changed the name of the company to his own name. His company was a family owned business and in the 1990s, the factory actually became a cultural center. Uh, very hard to find this piece right here. I think I'm gonna be asking about $30 for it. Saw this at the Goodwill, just thought it was so pretty and so dainty. It's Royal Imperial Bone China out of England. Um, I couldn't find the name to it and as a matter of fact there's not a lot of information on royal imperial bone china out of england i know it's a demitas set and i think it dates to the 1950s or so the back stamp would lead me to believe that but doing research on royal imperial bone china out of england uh there wasn't much out there and a lot of other people were asking questions also um to the best of my knowledge I think it might have been an offshoot of the Ridgeway China Company. Anyway, they still sell good, they sell very well. I'm gonna ask $15 for the set. It's in really nice condition. And we're gonna do the bone china trick right here. I don't know if you can see, uh, right there. 
If you look really close, the light's not that good. You can see my finger bouncing around back there. Means it's translucent. See through it means it's bone china. You can see it has dainty little pink flowers on there with a really pretty gold trim and the little Demitasse teacup, same with the flowers also on the inside. Very pretty. I know there are people out there that collect um, Demitasse cups, so that's why I picked it up and hopefully somebody will be interested in this one. Wonderful, wonderful Salvation Army find were these Pier 1 hand-painted in Portugal ceramic plates. Um, they are in excellent condition, appear to be unused. I grabbed them, uh, not only did I love the pattern, but Pier 1, as all of you probably know, has just closed its doors. So I'm hoping that somebody will be looking for um, some replacement plates. The pattern here is PER55. The dinner plate is seven and three quarters, and the salad plates are eight and seven, eight and three quarters also. Sorry about that. I'm gonna be asking $30 for the lot. Great bold floral design. Picked up this beautiful Spode Millennial uh, 2000, Millennial Souvenir Plate calendar plate at the Goodwill in wonderful condition. It's 10 and a quarter inches. And you can see right here that I think is what is called the Greek design. They did make a few different designs for the 2000 millennial calendar. And I think they also made the calendars at least through 2005. They also made a Christmas one with a Christmas tree in the center. And instead of being blue, it was green. That was for, I believe, 2000 also. This is part of Spode's Blue Room collection. Give you another look right there again. So January 1st of the new millennial was on Saturday. I'm going to be asking about $15 for this plate. Okay, you might notice a little change of scenery here. Uh, the lights just went out in my house. So I'm gonna take a try at filming outside on my lanai. And I'm going to show you this magnificent 13 inch small sandwich tray in the pompadour pattern. Um, it has features right here, Corinoline Lady. And there's her castle right back there or her chateau. It's simply stunning. You can see it's well, it's gold. All these flowers are gold and they just pop. There you go, a little bit. I know the lighting's not the best out here, but it's all the lighting I have. And there's some hand-painted flowers right there. There's some crazing to it, but that's okay. I uh, usually find crazing due to the age here. It's hard to find this 13-inch small sandwich tray. It was made by, well, it's part of the Lord Nelson Weir out of Hanley, um, Staffordshire, England, but Nelson Weir, Lord Nelson Weir, is a part actually of Elijah Cotton Limited, and Lord Nelson Weir, or Nelson Weir, excuse me, started in 1913. That was a trademark name of, um, off of the Elijah Cotton Limited. 19, uh, early 1950s, it was simply known as Lord Nelson Weir, and that BMC you saw on the back of the, uh, the back stamp over there, stands for British Commercial Monomarks. It was kind of a post office mark um, and not many companies actually used it. I think there were only uh, four or five other than this one that did. Again, I'm gonna give you a look-see right here. Just, it's, it's actually so much prettier in person. I'm sure I'm not filming it at uh, its best advantage. I'm gonna be asking $40 for it. found these in the Goodwill and I actually, I think I found two of them and wandered around to see how many I could find and I ended up with eight. They're simply gorgeous. You saw in the back, it said Jonas Roberts, Japan. Um, they're actually, they were made for, they were made by Mikasa. Jonas Roberts was the designer for this line, the Mediterranean line 
which featured a lot of different patterns. Most of the cups were plain or speckled like this one here in all sorts of different colors. Um, and the, the saucers and the rest of the dinnerware had bright, bold, mid-century colors and flowers and geometric patterns and all that good stuff from the 70s. Um, it has a very sleek, clean line, as you can see right here. Again, mid-60s to mid-70s would be my guess in the range. Forget-me-not is the pattern if I forgot to let you know that. And Jonas Roberts was a Swedish mid-century modern designer, actually one of the most influential mid-century modern designers of the time. Started out um, post-war, post-World World War II, designing with uh, glass and ceramics. And I know he did work for other companies as well as Mikasa. I think I'm gonna be asking $30 for a set of four. That means I have two sets of four to offer. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment and we'll see you again real soon, bye. I was in Caldor the other Clarification on the size of these plates. They are eight and seven quarters. That's not right. My channel, and if you're new, well, <laughs> no.